Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I just thought I'd share this video uh, for those of you who have the AMD Radeon 6600 XT graphics card. Now apparently, a lot of people, and that includes myself, have run into an issue with this card. And as you can see here, this is a forum where a lot of people are basically saying that they have run into the same issue. Um, so, because this is a rather complicated issue, and because I'll be doing a lot of talking, I have included timestamps in the description, so you could skip ahead to a later part of this video um, if you would like. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, first of all, I'll just say that there is no permanent fix for this issue. This is a problem with the driver, and therefore AMD will need to fix this in a future update, which is not available as of yet. But, fortunately, there is a temporary fix, which I'll show you later in this video. But before I get into that, I would like to show you how you would normally want to install drivers, you know, for your graphics card, for example. Now, in a lot of cases, Microsoft will install drivers for you automatically through Windows Update. And a lot of the time, these drivers um, are exactly what you need and you don't really need to install drivers manually but in a lot of other cases the those drivers that Microsoft is forcing onto your system um, are problematic and outdated and so how uh, well, what is the recommended way that you should be installing drivers um, it would be f um, from the manufacturers website I will put a link to this page in the description below, assuming you have this graphics card. Uh, but when you click on the link, or, or when you're here, um, you would want to choose your operating system. So in my case, uh, it's Windows 10. I have a 64-bit computer. And you would want to click on a download link, this download button right here. Now, um, there is an optional driver update, but there's also a recommended driver update. If you want to play it safe, I would go with the recommended update personally, but if you want the latest update, go with the optional. Either way, you would want to click on the download button and install, and install it from there. Now, what is the problem with this graphics card? Uh, well, as I mentioned, it is a driver issue. It's not a hardware issue. Um, so if you have gone down this route, if you have installed the driver from AMD's website, and if you have set up your computer to turn, off, turn the screen off automatically after a period of time, let's say 15 minutes, your system will likely do something like crash or maybe it goes into sleep mode and you can't get your display back on and you have to like force shut down the computer or restart it or whatever to get the display back up and running. Um, so that is the, that is the issue with this card or I should say a driver one way to fix it would be to just choose never like never have your screen turn off automatically um, but if you're one of those people who wants to save energy then I would recommend you keep this set to whatever you want it to be set to if you want to have it set like this set up this way so that the screen turns off automatically there is a workaround and one way to fix it would be to just use Microsoft's driver the the driver coming in through 
Windows updates, but you aren't getting the AMD software that comes with it, the Radeon software. And, and if, if, if you want this software, you would have to install the driver from AMD's website. But yet again, you would run into this issue. At least a lot of you would be running, would have to deal with this issue if you have it set up this way. All right, so what is the temporary fix for this issue? Well, first of all, I would highly recommend that you install the driver from AMD's website because that is technically the official driver, the recommended driver, although, even though it's problematic. And second of all, I would highly recommend you uninstall all traces of any other driver, like Microsoft's driver. You want to completely uninstall that, remove all traces of that driver from your system. And you want to prevent Microsoft from installing its own driver. And I could show you how to do that later in this video. So what is the fix? What is the temporary fix? Now, I say temporary fix because AMD will need to fix this issue in a future update, but there is a temporary fix, a workaround. So, I have this program, the software, called MSI Afterburner. I will put a link to this software in the description below. MSI is just another manufacturer of motherboards. I think they make graphics cards as well. Maybe some other hardware components. Um, but they have their own, this software right here, this, which is called MSI Afterburner. And I would highly recommend you get this installed um, because you can use this software to fix this issue with your graphics card or driver you would um, once you have it open you would want to click on settings and you want to scroll down to where it says disable ULPS well you don't really need to scroll down it's right there but you would want to make sure that there's a check mark next to disable ULPS and this stands for ultra low power state um, and it says it right there, but you want to make sure this is checked and then you would want to restart your computer to make sure those settings are, uh, you know, in place or applied and then you should be good to go. Now the thing is, you would have to do this, you would have to go into MSI Afterburner and make sure that disable ULPS is checked you would have to do this every single time you update your graphics driver. Unless, of course, AMD fixes it in a future update. Uh, this is what you would have to do until then. So it's kind of a nuisance. That's, that's another reason why I say temporary fix, is that you have to keep doing this every time you update your graphics driver. But it fixes the issue, right? You, you, you no longer have to run into this issue every time your screen turns off automatically. Now, if, for instance, Microsoft forces its own update onto your system, um, I, I would highly recommend you use a certain tool to prevent it from installing that update. Uh, and that is, uh, you, you can use this tool, uh, this is um, from Microsoft's web website, but it's a tool called Show or Hide Updates, and it allows you to hide the update that you don't want Microsoft installing onto your system. So you would just scan for updates, check for updates, and then you would click on Hide Updates, and the driver update coming from Microsoft through Windows Updates would show up right here. You would just put a check mark next to it and click Next, and it will hide the updates so that it, Microsoft will no longer force that update onto your system. So 
that's one piece of advice I have for you. Another piece of advice would be uh, before you do that, before you do that, I would highly recommend you use this tool called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller, and you would want to boot boot your computer up into safe mode to do before you do this. You want to um, make sure your computer boots up into safe mode, and then you would extract this zip file right here and it will create this folder and then you would run display driver uninstaller and um, I would highly recommend you check all of these under uh, where it says AMD specific options I would highly recommend you check all of these maybe not the second one because as it says here a backup is recommended for AMD chipset but I would just check all of them honestly I would also recommend you put a, ch um, a check mark next to where it says prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update because of course Windows is or Microsoft is kind of forcing those updates onto your system whenever you uninstall a driver like your graphics driver for instance so I would uh, make sure that you prevent these down these drivers from being downloaded automatically so then you would be able to install um, AMD's driver manually so that's what I would recommend you do before you install AMD's update right here the, the A AMD's driver anyway I really hope this fixes your issue Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.